Hi guys, in today's video, we will be learning about the science behind baking. Flour is the main ingredient that defines baking as it is the main component that holds the structure of baked foods. Two common types of flour used in baking are whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour. Flour are mainly composed of starch and protein. However, the whole wheat flour has higher protein commonly known as gluten content since it is produced from grinding this cereal grain including the bran and germ. On the other hand, all-purpose flour is obtained from finely ground part of wheat kernel called endosperm which gets separated from the bran and germ. Apart from flour, yeast which is a single cell plant is a leavening agent in baking bread. Yeast is a plant that feeds on starch and sugar while releasing carbon dioxide and alcohol and sugar. This process is called fermentation which releases the carbon dioxide bubbles and gives the dough a light airy texture. The condition required for yeast growth are warm temperature above 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and food which are starch plus a small amount of sugar. Having said that, sugar is not only important as sweetener but it is important nutrient for optimum growth of yeast in baked food like bread. If you happen to smell sweet aromas of your baked food from the oven, the sugar in the baked food has gone through series of complex browning reaction at above 140 to 160 degrees Celsius. The reactions are known as Maillard reaction. It is the reaction between amino acid known as protein from flour and egg with the carbonyl group in sugar in baked food. The baked products form the brown crust of many baked goods and give the baked product its fresh aromas and flavors. At a higher heat, above 165 degrees Celsius, sugar undergoes caramelization and the browning of food formed is through pyrolytic reaction. You may have seen small airy pockets inside your pancakes, cookies and cakes. These are created by chemicals or leavening agent known as sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda or sodium bicarbonate has the property of releasing carbon dioxide when it is heated. However, as this process produces a strong base, sodium carbonate, it has to be neutralized by acid. Now, this is the reason why baking powder is commonly used instead. Baking powder is baking soda with acid added. This neutralizes the base and most importantly produces more carbon dioxide. Butter is an ingredient which serves as an emulsion which contains fat and water. Besides that, it is important in preventing water molecule in steam form and carbon dioxide bubbles from escaping from the mixture too soon. Additionally, Eggs are also used in baking as an emulsifier. Eggs are used in baking mainly to act as binder for the entire mixture and holds the entire baked product in its desired shape. Finally, little salt is essential in adding flavor and strengthen soft fat and sugar mixture during baking. The next time you bake, remember you are doing a science experiment in your kitchen. That's all for now and thanks for watching.